Hello Adventure Riders from around the world. I'm gonna surprise you now and will show you something completely different. We're not going to talk about motorcycles in this video, but behind me is a historical park near Varna. It is a wonderful complex on the size of more than 30 acres. Huge, excellent, and it is something that you never seen before. So this is what we're gonna talk in this video. Stay with me. I did not know anything about this complex until I came now to Bulgaria. Actually, I saw a big sign on the highway and I came here to see it and I was in shock. Have a look at this. Huge complex built from stones. It has this lake around the castle. It has this wooden bridge that is liftable, exactly like the old days from Bulgarian history. And let me show you what it is because it is very, very impressive. This is the main entrance. See the gate, metal and wood. The decoration is just outstanding. So see the gate. Oh man. Here is where you come into the entrance. You can buy your ticket, service desk. And here you can see a model of the whole village. So this is the entrance now, we're here. And here is the statue, and here is the fountains, and the lakes, the Neolith village, and this is made from marble, this is the tomb, and everything. This is just wonderful, wonderful complex. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take a guide and walk around to show you what it is. Man, wonderful, wonderful complex. Once you come in, you have this big open space huge huge project and i have this wonderful guide Iveta, to show Hi me guys. everything how are you today i'm fine thank you and you plan to show me the history huh? yeah i plan to show you the park and what we have achieved so far okay cool okay so when you enter actually you will see first you see the three brothers from the second bulgarian kingdom named petras and uh, koyan um, and behind them, we are now in uh, the process of uh, constructing the second Bulgarian kingdom, which is the second stage of our project. Um, the project aims to present the history that happened on the lands of Bulgaria, starting from the Neolithic period, ending with uh, the second Bulgarian kingdom. Um, and the project is uh, building gradually, uh, which means that each year we'll have something new to show to our visitors. Um, next year we plan to uh, finish the Second Bulgarian Kingdom, so uh, uh, the next stage will be the construction of the First Bulgarian Kingdom, which will be on the, the left side of, um, of, of it. So this castle over there where you're building, this is going to be Second Bulgarian yes. Kingdom, yeah? Yeah. Okay, and what is this here? Uh, these are lakes. Okay. Um, we have uh, also a boat ride uh, in our lakes as ah, okay. an attraction, okay. as an activity for our guests because the aim of the project is not only to present the history that happened on our lands but also to have different activities for our visitors so they can um, relive those times. Ah, okay. um, for example, in the early medieval era that uh, we will visit a little bit later, uh, we have archery and horseback riding. Okay, so the clients have a uh, possibility to experience this when they come, yeah? Yes, yes. Okay, good. And uh, with um, the expansion of the project, the activities will grow as well. Okay, just remind me once again, how big is the, the, the whole park? What is the size? What's... The size uh, is 13 hectares. 13 hectares, yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, and for the future, we'll be building uh, guest houses and uh, horse station and um, the area will be 50 hectares with that. 50 hectares? Yeah. Massive, massive, massive. Have a look at this. All right, and now we are going to? Now we are going uh, back in time into the Neolithic period. Um, between the Neolithic period is between 7,000 and 5,000 years before Christ. Uh, basically, th these are the years that the people um, started to 
um, take up agriculture, to build houses for the first time, because before that they were hunter-gatherers. Yeah. So this is the beginning of the sedentary way of living, the way that we live today, basically. Okay. Um, so here we have a small village uh, constructed of a couple of houses, because we try to show different architecture, depending um, where these um, remainings have been found in Bulgaria. Okay. So we'll go into a couple of houses mm -hmm. and see how they lived inside. Um, we've uh, constructed those houses the way that they did back in those days, uh, using um, wood, wooden sticks on the sides, uh, which are plastered on both sides with a mixture of clay, mud and straw. Oh, the same traditional style as Exactly, before. yeah. That's all we have done here. Okay, so let's go uh, into the first one. For me, me too. <laughs> All right. Oh, what is this? Like a throne? Yeah, this is uh, something like a throne for our visitors so they can sit and have a picture that um, is in tone with, with the era. Yeah. yeah. Everything is made from wood, animal skins, just natural materials. I like the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everything in here that we have and the whole project as a whole has been consulted by archaeologists, historians who help us reconstruct in real size the remainings of uh, our cultural heritage. And uh, here you can see how a family lived in, in those days. Um, and uh, basically the place that they stored their food, which was um, their, their treasure, so to yeah. say, back in those days. Uh, so they stored it here in those holes. So this is the fridge, yeah? Yeah, this is basically the fridge, yes. Okay. okay. And they ate mainly spelt back in those days uh, from which they prepared the, the bread. Mm -hmm. um, and how did they make the flour? Well, they used these stones over here mm -hmm. and by pressing them just like that, mm -hmm. they crushed the grains and uh, made the flour. Yeah, old traditional way. Yeah, uh, but except except spelt, they ate also um, meat yeah. uh, that they hunted the wild animals with the help of these tools over here that uh, we have recreated. Um, these are basically stone axes, maces that yeah. uh, you're going to see. Um, the handle is made from wood or from animal bones and uh, the blade is uh, made from stone. From stone, yeah. Exactly. This is um, the second and uh, uh, I told you that uh, they started up uh, with the agriculture uh, back in those days, but they also started to domesticate the animals okay. during those years. So the animals lived next to the house or inside the house. If it is bigger, like it is this one. Okay. Oh, so this is nice mattress, huh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> a little bit harder than what we are used to. A fireplace? Yeah, here we have a fireplace um, and in this house uh, we have uh, like rooms, separate rooms. Um, okay. The previous house was just uh, one room. Um, and oh, here the way of living is kept pretty much the same, but uh, this house uh, as you see, it's uh, quite bigger. The hallway that we went uh, into in the, in the beginning is actually built on the north part of the house to be like an isolation okay. um, for this main chamber here. Mm -hmm. um, here in uh, the left room, we have a silicon figure oh. that represents the people back in uh, those days. And their tools. Oh. And yeah, you can okay. go in. Yeah, here we have like a stone workshop. How are you, my friend? Nice. Yeah. You can see the clothes and the yeah. amulets that um, that they had. Cotton, the yeah, or what is this? Um, Len yes, linen or um, flax ha fabric. Oh, this is the main door, yeah. Yeah, this is how and they... Goat skin or <laughs> goat skin, yeah? All right. 
So this house is interesting with its architecture because it's uh, built, it, half of it is built it into the ground and half of it is above the ground, which, um, which gives it uh, the advantage to be way cooler in, inside uh, the, the house during the, the summer and during the winter is way warmer. Like air conditioning. Yeah, like natural air conditioning, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And here in the front is a place where they keep the animal, uh, animals. So during the, the winter, actually, they provide the heat uh, as well for, for the and family. And the smell. The smell and as the well, smell, yeah. And, smell, yeah. <laughs> and all the different flies that... Uh, and oh, look at the roof. All this mud everywhere. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, let's see the next. How many of these houses you've got here? Um, we have around four houses for each era. Now um, we have uh, moved into the, the stone copper age, okay. uh, which is a bit further in time, where, ah, okay. where, as you can see from the name, maybe guess, uh, they discovered the copper, the first metal, uh -huh. then the gold. Uh, this is further in time. The houses, however, uh, they kept doing the, the same way with one additional change on the floor they position the wooden poles and then they put uh, okay. clay and mud all over it yeah these poles are serving the role of an isolator actually mm. like a uh, old way parquet or whatever <laughs> yeah um the the most changes happened in the society, not so much the, the, the houses, uh, because uh, these are the years that uh, the people started to um, differentiate between different professions. Um, and so now we have a person who is a trader, uh, one who is a craftsman, and then little by little one part of the population became richer than uh, the rest of them. And the problem starts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, we mentioned that they had a lot of uh, mosquitoes and flies and um, any other insects inside yeah. the house because of the, the animals. Well, actually, they had a way to get rid of them uh, with uh, the help of different herbs. Yeah. So they light up the herbs, but uh, uh, for them not to burn very fast, they put this kind of vessel uh, on top of them. Mm -hmm. So they can burn slowly and, and, their, aroma smoke. Can, yeah, and their aroma can spread and uh, keep the flies away. So these are um, very unique figures that have been discovered on our lands. Well, um, no matter if they are ceramic or stone figures, they represent uh, the woman's body, which, uh, which is actually their mother nature, the, their highest mm -hmm. goddess back okay. in those days. So. Every house had a, uh, had a, uh, such has such figures. Once again, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. In the fridge. In the fridge again, yeah. Yeah. All right. What is this? Uh, this is um, a tool that they use to um, make to make their clothes and carpets oh, yeah, okay, from okay. Uh, linen or. Yeah, from yeah, I know, flexing. I know what it is. In Bulgarian, it's named Stan, but I don't yeah. know English word. All right. There are many more that are not finished yet, but they work on it. So like this one. So now we got this one on the big beams, which is above the ground, yeah? Yeah. Okay. The remainings of such houses have been found on the bottom of the Varna Lake. Ah, okay. And so in reality, those houses are built next to the lakes. This is why they are a little bit above the ground. Oh, so yeah, okay. during the spring, when uh, the level of the water rises, uh, it won't flood the house. So here we're talking about um, 4,500 years before Christ. Oh, here we have windows. Yeah, we have window Blinders. covers. <laughs> yeah. And here we have um, the chief of the tribe that lived on our land. Actually, this figure is a reconstruction of uh, the skeleton, uh, one of the skeletons uh, from the Varna Hokulitic Necropolis. 
Mm -hmm. And so we know that he was the chief because he is holding a scepter, which is a symbol of power. Um, and <coughs> in his grave, they found the most uh, gold objects. So, so uh, in the whole necropolis, they found a little bit over six kilograms of work gold. And the gold back in those days was a symbol of um, higher statue in the hierarchy. Mm -hmm. um, so he had a lot of uh, gold objects uh, in, in his grave and he was buried with them the way that we have positioned uh, them on the, on the figure. Okay. But what is interesting about this gold is that these objects are um, dated and said to be the oldest work gold in the world. Oh, okay. And uh, the statue actually is very realistic. You can see, see even the, the hair. Yeah. Very, very nice. Yeah, the hair is natural. Yeah, <laughs> the fireplace, yeah, cool. Now we are going uh, further in time, going into the Thracian culture. Um, so this is our Thracian part, uh, where we have presented the history of the Thracians between um, five centuries before Christ and four after. Um, but these tribes formed around 3000 years before Christ. So um, there has been a lot of uh, evolution during uh, their, their culture. And here we have uh, presented probably the, the best part and uh, the highlights. The highlights, exactly. Yes. Um, here on the, on the left, uh, that you see this building. This is um, a temple of uh, the goddess Bendida or Kibela. She has two names. It is made from marble, yeah? Yeah, it is made from marble and uh, wood on the whole ceilings, as you can see. And uh, we are going to have uh, different rituals inside. Ah, uh, that's why it's empty, yeah? Yeah, it is empty because the idea is uh, to have reconstructors uh, and people who are going to um, be in the role of the Thracian king, um, the goddess. And this is a real so marble, not imitation, yeah? No, no. It's a real marble, yeah? Beautiful. Have a look at the ceiling. Oh, I guess here will be the coldest place. Yeah. Well, the tombs are colder. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Massive size. This is a nice square. Yeah, this is um, the square. And here we have a Thracian palace, a ca castle. castle. Um, yeah, this uh, so far is the only reconstruction of a Thracian castle. Um, and it was a belonging to one of the Thracian kings during four centuries before Christ. Yeah. What do you mean the only? In the world? Or in, in, in Europe? Or? Yeah, as far as I know, in, in the world. In the world? Yeah. All right, interesting. And we have it here, in Varna. Okay, this status is interesting, yeah? Yeah, here we have presented um, a Thracian king from the, 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 the Bronze Age, as I told you, um, the Thracians started to form tribes 3,000 years before Christ, and there were numerous tribes. Each tribe had a different king. What is this here, restaurant part? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, this car? Yeah, this is, yeah, exactly, it's a Thracian car. Uh, this is the parade chariot of the king. And uh, this is a reconstruction of uh, the biggest chariot found on our land so far. And it was a belonging to the king who used it to uh, go to the streets of the town special, during special different occasions, fest. Yeah. yeah. But after the death of the king, this uh, chariot along with the horses uh, were buried inside the tomb of the king. Okay. This is massive, massive size. All marble, yeah? Yeah, marble and stone, wood. We've used uh, nearly 500 tons of marble. Oh man, who paid for all of this? <laughs> the investors. The investors, <laughs> have a look at this. Real marble. Yeah. Oh, and this was the famous door, yeah? That weighs yeah. two tons or four tons. Let's see this statue first. This is the god of wine. 
And this is the famous door, yeah. The one wing weighs uh, nearly a ton, and the whole door weighs five tons. With the frame and everything. Everything, oh, yes. Man. This is massive. This is huge. So here is the throne room of the king. This is where he welcomes his guests, do different kind of rituals and uh, feasts, of course. Of course. This is the throne, yeah? Yeah, this is the throne of our king. And the queen. Sorry? And the throne of the queen. Yeah, the throne of the queen, but uh, whenever the king has his guests, which are usually another king uh, with his warriors, the queen is uh, absent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Only the two kings are sitting here. I like the foxes here. Fox king. Yeah, these are hats okay. made from foxes. Oh, okay. You yeah. see? Yeah. What is this room? In this room, we present how the king looked like. Over here, uh, we have uh, reconstructed the, the, the head of the bronze figure that uh, he had. Actually, uh, the original has been found in front of his tomb. So this is how the king who lived inside this palace looked like. Okay. Um, and here we have uh, presented his last words, which is basically his will, saying that his kingdom will be continued to be ruled by his second wife after his death. Okay. Now these are the weapons, yeah? Yeah, these are the weapons from different uh, ages. The Bronze Age, the Iron Age, and these are reconstructions from different weapons found in graves or tombs dated for the period of the Trishans. Okay. Some protection over there. Yeah, some shields. Many, many doors. Very well decorated. this. Okay, even better here. These are the guards, I guess. Yeah, this is uh, the guard of the treasury room. Uh, but this figure represents um, a warrior with his uh, full armor, armory on. Okay. Uh, this is a replica of the treasures, of many, yeah? Yeah, of many, many treasures, uh, the most famous ones. Here, for example, we have parts of two treasures. This one is... Um, a Trishan treasure dated uh, a thousand years before Christ. Well, this is the famous Bulgarian. Yeah, this is the famous uh, treasure from Panagyurishte. Panagyurishte. And actually, the king living in this castle, uh, castle used, used it in his rituals. Okay. To serve the guests. <laughs> what we used to have. Yeah, okay. This um, represents another Thracian uh, treasure to another king named Kotis, um, and this is made from silver and gold. Yeah. And this is the famous Thracian sword that uh, every warrior had back in those days. Uh, okay, he has seen this mask before. Yeah, this mask again belonging to another king and uh, it is supposed that this is how he looked like because it is found in his grave um, on, the, on the place of his head. And here are some parts of the oldest were gold that was found in Varna. In Varna? Yeah. Okay. All right, we go to the second floor. Terrace, so nice. 
Oh man, have a look at the view. From here you can see the whole complex. Yeah. And here on the right side we will visit the bedroom of the king. Okay. Very private, huh? Yes. Super, super cool. Now we're going to this tombs, eh? Yeah. Under one, one mound, we have uh, collected four different tombs of different ages, dated for the period of the Thracians. This is very, very nice. So here is the last home uh, for one of the Thracian kings. Um, here we have presented a tomb from three centuries before Christ. And here in the right uh, room, they have positioned um, food, wine uh, for the king, uh, his swords, uh, the chariot that I told you about, the horses. And all of this was done because the Thracians believed in the afterlife and uh, they just for them, the death was just a transitioning to the next life that was much, much better than this one. So they believe that everything that they need today, they will need into their next life. Yeah. So this is why they took everything with them. Um, like Egyptians. Yeah. But actually they were wrong and they were robbed. <laughs> okay. And here in the main chamber, they lay down the king and his wife. Good. Here we'll be going into a tomb which is dated four centuries before Christ. Um, and it's in another uh, place of Bulgaria. Marble again? Yeah, marble doors again. Oh man, this is nice. All right. Beautiful. The tombs are made from large blocks of stones, which was a typical way of construction for, for the Thracians. So this tomb is famous with uh, the paintings on, on the top, which have stayed through, through the years and actually um, is present us the traditions the way that uh, they wanted to uh, be presented. Uh, the historians have different hypotheses what these paintings mean, but the most famous one is that it represents the king in different stages of uh, his life. Very, very interesting. Very impressive. Thank you very much. Another tunnel. Here we have uh, presented a tomb dated four centuries after Christ this time. This is the period where the Thracians were already part of the Roman Empire. So uh, the paintings and the constructions have changed significantly. But this tomb represents the servants and um, the owner of, mm -hmm. of, the, of the tomb. Um, but unfortunately, nothing has been found in the original tomb. Okay. Very impressive, very, very impressive. Now we are in the Pomorian tomb. Um, this is dated two to three centuries um, after Christ, and this was a place where they did the rituals, um, the person who was uh, 
able to speak to, to the gods was the one coming inside and connecting with them. As you can see, this is built in a typical Roman way using stones, bricks, the ceiling uh, made only from bricks, but uh, the Thracians uh, put their base belief here in the construction, the belief that the life goes on after the dead. And okay. this column here represents exactly that. The column is uh, hollow, and it goes all the way up. It is open on the top, and it represents the connection between the heaven and the earth. So the soul needs to go there. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And because this is the connection between the two worlds, actually, the, the rituals are done inside as well. Okay. This here is Spartacus, the Spartacus. famous Thracian warrior who was the leader of the biggest riot against the Roman Empire. What is it made from? Bronze. Bronze. Spartacus. And what is this now? Here we are going into the medieval times um, and here we have presented the two Slavic gods, the god of thunder and uh, the god of thunder Perun and the goddess of nature Lada. Okay. And so here on the left is the place where you can uh, do horseback riding. Um, the horses are not here yet because it's very early in the, in the morning, uh, but later they, they will be here. Yeah, we came early because we want to avoid the crowds yeah. until we film. Yeah, very, very nice. So here uh, we will see the movable houses of uh, the proto-Bulgarians, which are called Yurta. Yurta. Mm -hmm. And so here the, on the left, we have presented the earliest type, uh, which uh, moves with the help of wheels and it's pulled by horses. It's very tiny. The mobile home. Mobile yeah. home, yeah. yeah. This is an old fashioned tent. <laughs> yeah, a wooden tent with wool on the sides. Yeah. The next two that we're going to see are bigger and um, are moved when they are assembled and disassembled. Yeah. You can still see many of this in Kyrgyzstan, Mongolia, everywhere. They still use it. Yes, they do. Um, and here we have also presented the um, most famous, uh, most popular weapon that they had uh, back in those days, meaning the bow. Yeah. That was that is made from wood, bones from animals. As you can as you can see, these here are tendons. Yeah. And um, so they roll up the tendons, they put uh, fish fat, which okay. serves the purpose of a glue, then again tendons, and uh, this was done until um, the bowl was ready oh, okay. to be used. Uh, this is how we made this bowl as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what is interesting is that when they put the string, they do not put it on this side, but on this side. To do so, the two ends of the bowl should bend Oh, okay. Like this. And there where the strength comes from, yeah? Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. This is where the strength comes from. And this is why such bow can shoot an arrow up to 800 uh, meters. Oh, like a bullet. Exactly. Okay. So we have a horse saddle. Yeah, this is the main uh, seat where uh, the man of the house sits. And uh, basically the whole house is um, divided the right side to be the woman's part and the left side to be the man's part. But this is just, um, it's not strictly divided. Uh, we say so because on the left uh, side they position the weapons, the armory, mm -hmm. and on the right side they position the bed, the clothes as well. Mm, okay, there's another one. And in the front you can see the flag of the Proto-Bulgarians, which ah, yeah. is the horse tail. Yeah. So 
So we have again women on the right. Exactly. The clothes, um, the bed. The bed is presented by many layers of wool. Table. Table, yeah. And again. Weapons. Weapons, yeah. Except the bow, they had axes that they used, swords mm -hmm. um, as well. This is a bone maze, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And of course, the whip. Yeah. Okay, so this is now not a removable house, yeah? Yeah, it's not. It's a house that uh, is built by the people who um, are not nomads, who are not taking care of a large number of sheep, uh, but are settled down at one place and start to take up agriculture. These are basically the poorer part of the, the, the tribe. The house is made Again, from clay and mud, uh, but inside it is kept the traditional uh, traditional yurt. As you can see, the the form is circular. Yeah. On the top is open. Fire the place same open. way. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So let's go into the first Bulgarian capital city, or the houses of the common people, at least. Oh, nice. So this is a yard in which the whole generation uh, lives. The yard consists of pretty much three to five, six houses um, and there are numerous yards in the medieval city. These houses, as an architecture, we have uh, taken from the first Bulgarian capital city named Pliska. Pliska, yeah. yeah. So the houses are from one room um, and inside you can see that they had uh, wooden plates, spoons, uh, little tables and uh, Just chairs. basics, yeah? Yeah, just, just the basics. Um, no luxury? No, no, no luxury. And the decoration of the doors, yeah. Are there any differences between the houses or just, yeah? Uh, just uh, in the in the sizes or um, this is for a little example, bit different with yeah, stones. Exactly, this is uh, the biggest uh, of the tree ha and has stones on on the sides and on the floor. As you can see, the fireplace is also with a uh, different shape. Uh, but the way of living inside is kept pretty pretty much the same. Simple. Mm -hmm. This is what we need today. Mm -hmm. All right, there's another one. Okay, let's move further. Here is the archery field and here you can dress properly with uh, clothes from the medieval times. Then under the instructions of uh, our reconstructors, you can try your skills with the swords, the shields. Real, yeah? Yep. And then you can try to uh, shoot at the different targets. Okay, so this is more for fun here. Yeah. If you like to try everything. Yeah. Exactly. Very, very impressive. Very, Test very your skills with uh, the bows that we have um, here, which are made not from bows and tendons, like uh, the one in the yurta, but with uh, the same technology of, um, of putting the string on. You see, it's, yeah. uh, it is the same shape. And yeah. when you put the string on, these you bend uh, it actually on the bend around, it, yeah. yeah. And here is the place that you can ride a boat okay. um, on your own or with the help of our instructors. This is the boat that you will be riding. Okay. Around the lakes here. Around you make the lakes. Connections. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. It's a local dock. <laughs> Beautiful. This is the cafeteria. Here you can try this typical Bulgarian food, like three types of banitsa, any kind of dessert. You can try yogurt, handmade sheep yogurt, and many more. And of course, you can relax here 
under the shade. Very, very impressive. And how long usually takes one just tour? Because now we made it fast in the, yeah. the idea to, to make a short video, yeah? Yeah, the tour with the guide for now takes about two hours. About two hours, yeah. Yeah, give or take. Give or take. Um, once the park is completely finished, uh, it will be hard to be visited just for one day. I mean, it, it just won't be enough. The time won't be enough to uh, get in all of the areas and do the activities um, and enjoy the, the full experience. Yeah, and there will be a, a small train going around, yeah? This was yeah. the plan, yeah? yeah? Okay. Because some people are lazy, don't want to walk around. Yeah, or with small children. Yeah. Or it's okay. easier with the train. All right, and this is the, the souvenir shop here. Yeah. yeah, this is the souvenir shop, uh, and this is where the, the tour ends. Yeah. And um, here you can uh, see all of the ceramics and um, souvenirs that we made, which are unique. Yeah. And these are not just cups and plates that uh, you have uh, sitting on the shelf with, without any usage. On the contrary, you can use it every day. Um, and here are different encyclopedias, uh, books, fairy tales that, that we have. And of course... Phone covers. Uh, yeah, phone covers, of course. And these are fridge magnets? The biggest, uh, uh, fridge, fans. fridge magnets? Yep, these are magnets. Okay. All right. All right. Well, so thank you very much. It was absolutely perfect. Very, very useful. I hope people will enjoy it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and definitely see you again. Yeah. Yep. Bye bye. Bye.